The Hoop and Holler recently discovered archival photographs of a long forgotten Portage Prairie crime fighter who was very active in the 1970s, called the Chicken Man. He claims responsibility for Portage's low crime rate and has remained in the shadows all these years. While tracking him down, the Hoop and Holler discovered the location of a secret lair, a place that is named in his honor, the Chicken Coops. After much convincing, the Chicken Man agreed to talk to us on camera. Here are the disturbing excerpts from that interview. So what type of uh, powers or, or weaponry um, do you employ in your chicken suit? Uh, what, what, uh, can you give us some of the details of that? Well, the car is very, very powerful. It scares the schlitz out of these foul criminals. For instance, watch. Ah! Ah! See, I could see the hairs on your neck going up, Walter. Ah! And um, what do you have to say? Uh, I, I know you've been unwilling to reveal the location of your lair for years, but. We do believe that we found evidence that would point us to believing that the chicken coops were in fact named after you and that in fact your lair uh, exists somewhere in the chicken coops. Is that correct? That is correct. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Chicken Man, um, how do you explain the fact that most Portage residents wouldn't be aware of you or your exploits? How have you been able to operate in secret for so long? Well, it's the se several different disguises that I wear over the years. Is this one of them? This is one of them. This is the more frequent one. It's my pure awesomeness that they cannot... I blind them with, with my awesomeness and then I peck them. And I, I protect... I protect so many people in this city, but they don't seem to realize how I protect them. For instance, this is one of my brothers. My brothers. Look what happened to him. Alas, I knew him. His name was Gibbelschlitz. But now he's finished. Because our shelves should not have this kind of product on it. And what do you have to say about the amount of uh, fried chicken restaurants in Portage? Does that make you feel uncomfortable or unwelcome? Ah, blasphemy! Blasphemy. Now, why would you use the name Chicken Man and the Im image and symbol of a chicken? It seems almost contrary to a, uh, a macho crime fighter. It, it almost seems, um, I don't know, diminished by using the name Chicken Man. Chicken Man was one of the very first superheroes around before Batman, before Captain Canuck, and all these wannabes. So what happened to you when you were younger that uh, flipped this switch, as it were, to turn you into this rabid chicken crime fighter? I think it was all the, the, uh, the extra little giblets my mom fed me as a child. I was never the same after that. Have you been known to ruffle a few feathers around town? Have, have, has anybody ever choked the chicken? I have heard that people have choked the chicken and I do not recommend it. I have been choked once or twice but I have gotten away from them, and I have survived. I did one of these. Are you ready for the chicken man? 